Welcome to the Dog Pound! It's time for another episode of Terrier Tuesday. I'm Marketing Director Cody Bueller. This is your chance to get to know the players a bit better. You can find all of our videos on our YouTube channel. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll hopefully be getting to playing again soon. But until then, we'll be doing these remotely uh, via Zoom. Today, we've got Terrier goaltender Chris Fines joining us. Uh, Chris, uh, how's it been going? What have you been up to during the lockdown? Um... Well, pretty much the same as everyone else, locked at home. Uh, been out on the outdoor when I can and working out at home. So, so pretty where, boring times. <laughs> yeah, that it is. So where is home for you and who's all in your household? Um, I, I live in Stone, Stonewall, Manitoba. Um, right now, it's just me, my dad, and one of my sisters, my mom, and my other sister live in the city. So, All right. So other than obviously getting out on the outdoor rink, have you been taking up any hobbies, learning to juggle, playing video games? What have you been doing other than working out? Yeah, so I'm really hooked on fantasy hockey right now. I'm in three leagues, so I've been doing that on my spare time. Um, play lots of video games too, yeah. And so are you winning in your leagues at least? No, no, I'm actually terrible. You can ask the other guys that I'm actually in dead last. <laughs> oh, no, well, that's not a good start. Yeah. Well, Logan Calder set up the rules, and that's why he's in first, I, I like to think. Probably. <laughs> it's probably. I should have asked him about that last week. He probably rigged it somehow. Yeah. So being the goaltender for the team, what drew you into goaltending? Um, well, actually, I, was, I didn't start being a goalie until I was like 13, turning 14. Eh, yeah, around there. I and mean, it was late. Okay. But I don't know. I just... Like, like the idea of being able to be the guy to save the game and stop the puck, I guess. Okay. Do you like the kind of like that pressure of being the last line of defense, being kind of the guy everybody notices out there? Or... Yeah, that's, that's the main thing. Yeah, for sure. I love being the guy that can steal games and win your team hockey games. And so now, uh, when you take a look at your game, do you compare yourself to any NHL goaltenders? Who would you maybe compare yourself to? Because I know maybe a person who isn't a goalie expert, it's, oh, it's the guy who stands between the pipe. But obviously, you know, style-wise, there's a lot of different styles. And who would you compare yourself to? Um, I like Pekka Rene, maybe. I'm not the most technical goalie. I, I rely more on my athleticism, if anything. All right. Get Sounds it. good. So, yeah. So let's get away from hockey for a second. It's Friday night. COVID's not a thing. Let's pretend that for a bit. What are you up mm. to? No Terrier game. No COVID. It's Friday night. What are you doing? Hmm. Probably go hang out with my buddies. Uh, watch the hockey game. I don't know. Like, I'm pretty simple with that. I like seeing my buddies. Okay. And so then when you guys are hanging out, are you playing video games? You play pool, foosball, darts, like one of those kind of games, ping pong? Mm. Are you into any of those? Yeah, we like ping pong. That's... That's pretty much all we do if you hang out is we go to the guy's house that has the ping pong table and that's what we're doing. Sounds good. And so then would you be near the top as far as uh, ping pong goes? Is that kind of like your second uh, skill? Yeah, actually, I probably would be. All right. So when you said you're watching the hockey game, what, who's your favorite NHL team? Oh, hometown kid, the Jets. All right. Cheering for the Jets. So yeah. We're going to ask some uh, rapid fire questions for you. So just say the first answer that comes to mind. Um, feel free to elaborate if you'd like. Um, mm. So we'll start off toast or cereal? Mm, toast. Orange juice or apple juice? Orange, for sure. Tea, tea or coffee? Coffee. Cake or donuts? Mm, donuts. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Pizza or burgers? Burgers. Kind of, a sure. food, kind of a food theme here. Um, let's get away from mm. food. Let's go cars or trucks. What would you rather have? Uh, a truck, for sure. What do, you have, what do you have now? I have a car. It's a charger. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Are, you, are, you yeah. a, are you a vehicle guy? Are you into cars and trucks at all? Uh, to a point, yeah, I guess. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not really about the speed of the car, but I like the looks of it more. Okay. Fair enough. And so now for you, um, you've got a couple of years left of junior eligibility and who knows what this season's going to be like once we get back playing, but uh, do you have any plans for after hockey? Um, 
I've had, I have a couple things in mind, obviously nothing set in stone, but I want to be an air traffic controller, like my dad. So. Okay. And yeah. so then as far as the schooling goes for that kind of thing, is there like some courses or programs or is it something you can kind of work your way into? It's like a two years on, like go like every day for the whole year. It's really, it's really hard, but yeah, two years and you're, you're pretty much done. That's if you get in. So now him being an aircraft traffic controller, do you get to go up at all? Do you get to fly a bit? Oh uh, yeah, I actually, we have before. Yeah. He's, he's got his license for piloting like tiny planes, but yeah, that's cool. pretty fun. Yeah. Have you ever uh, thought about flying at all? Ah, uh, pilot? Mm, I don't know. Maybe. It's time left to think, I guess. Oh, absolutely. Lots of time for that kind of stuff. And who knows, now you got time to maybe uh, work on that kind of stuff. Yeah, for sure. So do you have any kind of jobs in the off season or where do you work in the off season? Or is it basically strictly training for you? Ah, uh, no, I do. But I got laid off before I moved to Portage the first time. It was at a lumber lumber yard. I was mm. the yard guy, carry around lumber all day, pretty much. It's fun. But. Well, yeah, and that'd be good training too. Yeah, it was. Yeah, for sure. All right. Well, hopefully we'll get back on the ice soon. Appreciate you yeah. taking some time to chat with us. Is there anything you want to say to Terry or fans, or anything you want to add before we go? Um. Yeah. Be ready because it's coming soon, for well, sure. Well, we sure hope so. Thanks for joining us, Chris. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, Cody.